People aren't statistics. 19-year-old Ariana said this when she lived through one of the worst natural disasters in Puerto Rico's history, leaving her friends, family, and neighbors without access to clean water. Seeing how deeply real lives have been impacted by this crisis, Ariana is creating solutions. This is her impact. When the world sees Puerto Rico, a lot of people see us as this vacationing spot, like, oh, look, it's beautiful Puerto Rico. And sometimes that's all they think of us. But what they don't really think about is there's more than three million people living here in Puerto Rico, having struggles. Growing up, we would always have to have that worry of like, when can we go to the supermarket because we don't have food in the fridge? When's the money coming in? It was a little bit uh, emotionally difficult for me. Hurricane Maria happened and it just, it just got worse. It's 6.37 in the morning and Hurricane Maria is hitting us pretty hard in Puerto Rico, Carolina. The eye has just made landfall. The Water Authority is responsible for giving everyone access to water, but politics, bureaucracy, corruption, you know, it's something that makes that process a lot slower. A lot of these water sources are extremely toxic and they're very dangerous to people's health. Some people don't have a choice. Some people are obligated to just grab water from that water source just to survive. I knew there had to be a solution to the water crisis. But in uh, Latino culture, a lot of the time, being women, we're told to be quiet, you know, to not really say anything, to not say our opinion. Calladita te ves más bonita. Um, if you keep your, your, your mouth shut, the prettier you look. So that was a phrase that I was, uh, that I was told uh, a lot when I was a kid. But I found this group of people in college who had this vision of not only giving people clean water, but making their lives better. That was when I realized, like, if they can do it, like, why can't I? Yo pertenezco a esta comunidad, mm -hmm. y después del huracán María, eh, nosotros en la comunidad estábamos sufriendo sin tener agua limpia por más de seis meses. Mm -hmm. Empezamos a diseñar diseño que fuera así, que pudiera proveerle agua limpia a las comunidades. Y pues entonces, Eh, a través de mucho trabajo, muchas veces que nos decían que no, que no, que es una idea, ustedes son unos estudiantes, no podría ser posible, están soñando muy grande. All those negative comments motivated me to help solve the water crisis and reach every single person here by having that access to clean water. So right now we're getting to the community in Gurabo. This is really uphill. <laughs> it's a little difficult to drive. Um, but yeah, this, these, are, these are the things we have to do to, to get to these communities. And I, I, I honestly don't mind, but this is really uphill. <laughs> oh, ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't have a lot of experience <laughs> driving in the mountains, uh, but Hey, there's a first time for everything, so. When I go to the communities, I always like hearing people's stories and their backgrounds. That helps me understand what are not only like physically what happened to them, but more like emotionally, how did all of this affect them because Psychologically, uh, having lack of, of access to water, having that constant uncertainty is really scary 
for them, and you can see it when you talk to them. You can see it when they tell you their stories. Y ya se ve allá que parece que está lloviendo. ¿Por cuánto tiempo estuvieron sin agua? Pues mira, fácil, fácil te puedo decir que tuvimos como mes y pico a mes y medio sin agua. De mes a mes y medio, de un mes a un mes y medio. Por por tantos años que ha tenido estos problemas. Ajá. Este ya. Que no es nuevo, tú sabes. O como 20 minutos que corra. 20 le meto, minutos. Ajá, entonces le meto la mano a ver una taza, a ver si sale limpia. Wow. Que nunca sale limpia, siempre sale amarillenta. Que, que mejor sí. que todo el tiempo tú estés usando la pluma de agua. Okay. Viene alguien, tú le cocinas en confianza. Claro. Los nietos sí. vienen, pues tú mira, sabes que el agua está limpia, pues le cocina. Eso sería un, un estrés menos, quizás. Sí. Para, ¿Verdad? La, la filosofía de nosotros. Y algo que yo pienso que debe ser es que nosotros estamos aquí para ayudar a las personas a tener acceso a esto gratis. O sea, no debe ser algo por lo cual la gente, o sea, de, 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 debe pagar. O sea, las personas no deben pagar para tener ese acceso. Y ah, no solamente okay. a agua, sino a, a agua limpia, de calidad. Agua limpia, de calidad, sí. Claro. A lot of these communities, since 2017, uh, have had to get used to the fact that the system is not going to get fixed anytime soon. Because it's been so many years of hopelessness, you know, and with something that is so vital, the government has failed us. We need more people being proactive. There's Puerto Ricans here who, who need help that are not getting that help from the United States government. People aren't statistics, like, they're people. A problem here that we have in Puerto Rico is that a lot of the youth is leaving, you know, to just find other opportunities outside of Puerto Rico. And what we're left with is a population mainly of the elderly. A lot of people, uh, their, their first impression of me and of my team, it's like, oh, wow, like, they're really young. I guess it's really shocking to see us like, wow, these kids are taking action. Pues, ahora mismo, esto va para el río, en donde va a filtrar el, el agua. Nosotros pues dejamos la, la, la máquina allí funcionando. Pues entonces las personas pueden bajar al río si no tienen agua. Eh, bajan con sus cubos y, y, y pues la llenan. Y, y pues es agua no solamente limpia para que ellos se puedan bañar y, y, y limpiar, sino también pues pueden tomar de esa agua. Sí, sí, no, idea y... que pueda mantenerse solo con su propia energía, uh -huh. recargable y, y que él esté constantemente sin necesidad de tener una energía o depender de la energía del gobierno, que también muchas veces falla. Ok, dale, sáquenlo. Dos puntos. Espérate, papi, cógelo suave. Vamos a conectar esto. ¿Hasta dónde llega ella? Hasta Espérate. donde le dé. Sí, hay que meterlo. Esta profundidad está bien ahí. Puedes acostarla ahí, acuestarla. Si sí, no, pues habrá que echarla un poquito más para acá, ¿verdad? Sí, hay claro. que echarla un poquito más para acá. Sí, podemos ponerla un poco más en el medio. ¿Qué pasa? Yes. Ya. Está funcionando. Está filtrando agua. Exacto. Está saliendo. Yes. I want them to know that there is someone out there that can help them. And being able to be a part of a solution, I know that we can help them lead a better life. We can not only filter water, but we can, we can heal people. Mm -hmm. Claro que sí. Gracias. Sí. <laughs> Claro que sí, sí, no, esto, esto todo, todo es para, para ustedes, para la, para la comunidad. The big filter that goes into the rivers, uh, it's usually for communities that use uh, their, their nearby water source for any activity uh, so that they can safely re receive water. And then the home filtration device is more so that we can connect it directly into these homes' water pipes so that 
the water can be directly filtered. Ok, les explico. Venga, Juan. Ok. Entonces, les explico. Este lado, ustedes van a recibir el agua. Ah, el agua que ajá, entra. O de, sea, de, de acueducto. De acueducto ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Entonces, aquí. Ah, qué bueno. Ahí está. ¿Ve? Ya tienen agua filtrada. Ok. Pueden beber de ella, pueden usarla para cocinar, lo que ustedes quieran. Ah, todo. Pues nada, ya, ya por lo menos por ahora ya tienen agua. Maravillosa. <ríe> no sabes lo agradecida que estoy de ese trabajo que han hecho ahí. Claro que sí. Eso me vino el regalo más grande que yo he recibido en mi vida. Te lo digo. A lot of the times we don't believe that what we're doing is enough for the community, that we're not doing something for the world. We second guess ourselves a lot, so that has happened to me a lot, a lot of insecurity, a lot of anxiety. Am I capable of doing this? I'm only 19, so I have a lot to learn and to be able to take on this project and to know that we, we can make an impact and we can change the world.